Hey guys, welcome to our uh, NEET MDS 2023 recall series. So in this series, we are going to see about an important topic, which is from general surgery. It is revised trauma score. So what is a revised trauma score? A revised trauma score is something which we use in, uh, when, in the trauma site. That is where the mass casualty has happened, like in uh, accidents or fire accidents or anywhere where there is mass casualty. There we use... Uh, uh, this revised trauma score to evaluate the status of the person on the site and then decide how to proceed with the treatment, where to where to send him, whether to the uh, ter tertiary center, primary center, or how he should be treated, or can he be treated on site. Everything we can evaluate from this revised trauma score. So this is uh, mainly used by the people who go, the doctors who go into this uh, site and send the patients to the casualties. So let's just see what this uh, revised trauma score is and what all the parameters that we used in revised trauma score. But before that, do subscribe to our YouTube channel and uh, do like this video. So let's just go into the revised trauma score. It is a physiologic based triage score. Triage score is where the ma mass casualty uh, is happening that uh, camps, uh, they uh, uh, provide like a triage camp. So that is the triage score. It's made up of three categories as seen here, Glasgow coma scale, systolic blood pressure and respiratory rate. So the three parameters which we used in revised trauma score are Glasgow comma scale, systolic blood pressure and respiratory rate. Glasgow comma scale is nothing but it uh, uh, evaluates the brain activity of the patient. So the scale evaluates the brain activity of the patient on site. So it was derived earlier from two versions of triage scores, the triage index and the trauma score. The combination of it is the revised trauma score. So it is more common in the physiologic scores, which is in use nowadays. Okay, then. So this is how the uh, score is calculated. So uh, coming to the class score from a scale, so you can see when it is between 13 to 15, when systolic BP is more than 89 millimeter per Hg and respiratory e, uh, rate is between 10 to 29, then the value is coded as four. If uh, the same goes for nine to 12 Glasgow comma scale, 76 to 89, and more than 29 respiratory rate, then it is coded as three. When the Glasgow comma scale is 6 to 8, systolic BP is 50 to 75, respiratory rate is 6 to 9, then it is coded as 2. When it is uh, Glasgow comma scale is 4 to 5, systolic BP is 1 to 49, respiratory rate is 1 to 5, which is very low, it is coded as 1. And when Glasgow comma scale is 3, Systolic BP 0, respiratory rate 0, then it is coded as 0. The parameters which we use in Glasgow comma scale are like ocular and motor uh, uh, parameters we use. So based on it, it is uh, calculated, the brain activity of the patient. So RTS is calculated as uh, with this formula. So it is in the range of 0, 0 to 7.8408 when it is calculated with this formula. But when we normally calculate with the codes that are provided here, so these are important codes. So when it is calculated with the codes that are provided here, then the value of RTS will be 0 to 12. Okay, so 0 to 12. So when the triage is starting, a patient with RTS score of 12 is labeled as delayed. That means we can delay the treatment for this patient because he is he is not having any emergency and 11 he is labeled as urgent that is he needs urgent emergency care and 3 to 10 he is labeled as immediate when the score is 3 to 10 he is labeled as immediate he needs immediate emergency care and those patients who are below 3 are declared dead and should not receive certain care of emergency and high uh, uh, because they are unlikely to survive uh, with the amount of resources that we have. Okay. 
Then the question which was asked in NEET MDS 2023 was the revised trauma score includes all. That means it's asking about parameters. The parameters are three. That is Glasgow Comma Scale, Systolic BP and Respiratory Rate. So the answer here is pulse rate. Pulse rate is not included in reverse trauma score. Okay. So if you like our video, do like our video, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. You can also follow us on Instagram handles at Dokshala and at Dokshala Medical. And you can also find us on Telegram and also on our new WhatsApp channel. Thank you and meet you in the next video.